Can better gear make you a better filmmaker? Yep. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. My wife and I moved to North Carolina last summer and I've had the opportunity to work on some really special projects that I'm hoping to share with you soon. Um, but whether it's doing that or just getting out to shoot to be creative and, and just explore and have fun, this thought has come to my mind again and again and I wanted to share it with you today. So in your creative process, maybe you have felt held back by the gear that you have. You think something along the lines of, man, if I could just upgrade this or that, it would, it would help me to get better. Um, and so you find yourself looking on all of the camera websites, reading reviews, and you're getting ready to get your next piece of gear. And then one of your favorite creatives comes out with a flashy new video that says, gear doesn't matter at all. It's you, you make it what it is. You know, it's all about you, the creator. It doesn't matter what gear you're using. So today I want to give you some different information. Gear completely matters. A lot of those videos, most of those people, I love and follow them and they're great and what they're saying is not completely off base for getting started. But none of them are shooting their sponsored deals on an iPhone, unless they're sponsored by iPhone. <laughs> none of them are out there filming commercials and filming these spots where they're sponsored by some product they have to show off. They're not doing that with an iPhone. They're not doing that with a $25 Tackstar microphone. No, they're shooting on Red Digital Cinema or some other rental gig, and they have a film crew with them. Gear absolutely matters. And I just don't think it's fair for people with millions of subscribers to try to tell you that you don't need that piece of gear. It's not gonna make you better. I'm not saying that good gear is going to magically transform you into a good creator. But what I am saying is, I don't feel like most of us actually think that. That's not why we are wanting new gear. If that's you, like, you sh that video's for you, then you should watch that and you should be inspired. Like, hey, that's not actually what's holding you back. It's, you know, something else. Maybe if you find yourself thinking, if I could just get that piece of gear, it will make me better. Maybe that's not wrong. Maybe it will actually make you better. Look, first of all, new gear has the ability to inspire creativity. You get excited about getting that new piece of gear and it maybe it sparks new ideas that you wouldn't have had if you'd not pulled the trigger and gotten that new lens or that new camera. Um, but not only that, you might actually be held back by the limitations of the gear that you're using right now. If I wanted to shoot a time lapse four or five years ago, I wouldn't have been able to with the current gear that I had. My cameras were very old or dated. Uh, another example is slow motion. To shoot slow motion, you have to shoot at a higher frame rate so that when you go to edit and you slow the footage down, it doesn't look all choppy. It needs more frames. You need more video captured. With my old gear, I couldn't do that. Another great example is this shot, a video I'm working on for the Western North Carolina Outdoor Collective. I got the idea from a coffee video that I made back in the day, and I used a specific camera to do this shot one that was waterproof. And had I not had a waterproof camera, I wouldn't have thought like, hey, why don't we just throw it in the bottom of a glass and pour liquid all over it? Or put it in a Kalita and pour coffee all over it. Gear can make you better. <laughs> all right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, yeah, if you have been eyeballing a piece of gear for a while, I'm here to give you permission to go pick it up. If you can afford it, totally pull the trigger and May it spark creativity and inspire you to greatness and to shoot things that you might not have shot otherwise. Um, yeah, let's go make stuff this year and let's not be held back by creative blocks, even if those creative blocks are the cameras we're shooting on and the gear that we're using. Hey, if you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button. Um, comment down below what piece of gear you're looking forward to getting this year. And yeah, let's have fun. Let's have fun this year. Uh, let's go make stuff this year.
hey, hit the bell if, uh, if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't done these things already, just do it. Just, just do it. You should do it. It's a good thing. You should do it. Um, I mean, I planned so much of this video except for this part. All right, real talk. I have been trying to shoot this video. This is my, can you see it? Can you see the video upon video upon video? Look at that. That's crazy. That's called a feedback loop. Did you know that? I've been trying to shoot this video for a while because I, I kept on experiencing the creative block. The piece of gear that I am lacking is a studio. A little behind the scenes action. <laughs> oh my God. Will buying a new piece of video gear make you I'm so out of breath. Can better gear make you a better filmmaker? Yep.